Hey everyone! Sonic the Hedgehog is probably the most iconic video game character of all time. He's had a consistent character design for over 30 years. He always has the same head, the same attitude, the same shoes, and the gotta go fast. He's one of my favorite characters, he's really cool looking, and I was hoping that my version of him would turn out decent, because it's quite daunting to undertake one of the most beloved video game characters of all time. But I'm happy with the results. I've wanted to make a Sonic model for quite some time. So I did, and here's the time lapse of it now that you're watching, and we're definitely going to follow this up with a Sonic tutorial series. If you're new to the channel, welcome! The program you see me using here is called Blender. It's completely free and open source, and the best thing ever. So if you're interested in trying your hand at 3D modeling, it's a great program to check out. I love it. I've been using Blender for a few years now, so I have a bit of practice, but you'd be surprised how easy it is to start 3D modeling, so I highly recommend giving it a try. For my Sonic model, I tried to keep the finished Sonic relatively low poly. All said and done, he was like 2700 mirrored tries, so like 5500 tries overall. And there are pretty simple ways to alter the workflow to increase, or in some cases decrease that amount, depending on how you want your finished model to look but we'll go over all that during the tutorial. As always with my modeling style, I made liberal use of modifiers to keep the mesh editing pretty simple, and I used a ton of curves for things like his tail, his hair spike things, and even his eyebrows. When I decided that I was finally going to be making Sonic, I looked at a lot of different Sonics from a plethora of video games. There are a lot of Sonic models. Like, oh my god, there's so many. At least in the current new games, there seems to be a general consensus on his proportions, and I ended up basing my model's height and feature placements on the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Sonic model, as well as the other Smash Bros. Sonics, which all seem to be different resolutions of roughly the same model. I actually didn't texture the finished model besides his eyes. I used placeholder materials as I modeled the objects, and just ended up using those materials on the finished model. <laughs> We'll probably end up going over different simple ways to texture the model in the tutorial series, but we'll see when we get there. Overall, he came together surprisingly fast. I was expecting retopoing to be more difficult than it was, but maybe I'm just getting better. It could happen. Who knows? <laughs> All said and done, Sonic was a ton of fun to try my hand at. Hopefully, the upcoming tutorial series helps you get a jump start on character modeling, if that's the sort of thing you're into. Leave us a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and please enjoy the rest of the time-lapse. Thank you all for watching, stay safe, I love you all, goodbye!